We've been playing a lot of Valorant through the game's closed beta. And in this video, we want to give you all the tips and tricks we have learnt playing Sage during the beta. Sage is the designated healer in Valorant. Her healing orb can be used to either heal her or her allies, while also being able to res a fallen teammate with her ultimate ability. And she also has two abilities, which are great at stopping rushes instantly. Let's get straight into things. First, we have the barrier orb. Sage's first ability, barrier orb, creates an ice wall, which can be placed at any angle she wishes. When placed, this wall has the ability to close off even the widest corridors Valorant has to offer. The barrier wall is also incredibly hard to destroy, taking multiple clips of ammunition to detonate. Being incredibly hard to destroy and blocking off entire walkways, you can already see why this ability is incredibly good when defending. By the time an enemy has destroyed the wall, support would have arrived, making it even easier to hold the site. Using barrier ore below your feet boosts you up with the wall too allowing you to peek and kill unsuspecting enemies waiting on the other side. Here are some of the best places to use the Sage Wall when defending. On the map Haven, you have three main locations, one at each side. The entrance to A ramp, B door at B, and the entrance to C long. On bind, the entry onto A site from showers, along the entrance to A port, placing it right behind the box is best. Then finally, you can wall off the entirety of garden on B. Our last stop takes us to split, a quick wall on A main can stop a complete rush into A dead in its tracks. You can stop pushes mid with a well placed wall on the entry into top mid, and the final position is the entrance into a B from B main. Up next we have the ability slow orb, which does what it says on the tin really. This is an orb you can shoot out and bounce off walls. Once the orb slams the ground it slows any agents who try to walk through it. If your opponent tries to run through this slow, it triggers a loud ticking noise, warning you an enemy is pushing through, stopping any enemy in its tracks. The Heal Orb is Sage's heal ability, with a 35 second cooldown. The orb can be used either yourself or on an ally, with either right or left click. The orb's healing range is quite significant, because of this we suggest playing defensive when playing Sage, as being one of the last ones alive is vital, as healing one of your allies back to full health can be the difference between winning and losing a round. When attacking, always make sure you are at the back covering the flank. This opens you up to heal or revive fallen teammates. Finally, we have Resurrection. Once Sage has seven ultimate orbs, she can resurrect a fallen ally. This is easily one of the best ultimates in the game, as it can turn a single round from a 5v5 to a 6v5. This is another reason why we suggest you play defensive. Being alive to revive an ally can be the difference between a win and a loss. We hope you like this Sage guide, so make sure to sub to this channel for more content and check out gfinityesports.com for more Valorant guides and gaming news.